Militants are stepping up attacks in Afghanistan and Pakistan with devastating results. In the Afghan capital of Kabul, Taliban commandos stormed a U.N. guest house Wednesday, killing eight people. That assault was followed by a rocket attack on the presidential palace and a hotel. Then later in the Pakistani city of Peshawar, a car bomb ripped through a crowded marketplace, killing at least 100 people and injuring more than 200 more, many of them women and children. While no group has claimed responsibility for the attack, it's seen as a reprisal for Pakistan's military offensive in South Waziristan. With us now to discuss yesterday's violence is CBS News foreign affairs analyst Pamela Fock. Good morning. Good morning, Michelle. Uh, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton was in the country at the time right. of the attack in Pakistan. What was her reaction? Well, her reaction is that the United States will not be scared off by insurgent attacks and that the United States stands with Pakistan. Her message, this was a th in a three-day trip, was um, to basically say that the United States' $7.5 billion aid package and now emergency aid is to try to make sure that these tribal areas, as you mentioned, South Waziristan, are not the, the home ground and the breeding ground for the for Taliban and Al-Qaeda. And uh, these attacks were against civilian targets to, uh, to ensure the most damage. And so it really is sending a message, and yet the government has to make sure that they're not seen as being uh, all, all run by the United States. And so it's a very complicated pictures or Dari is who she will be meeting with the Pakistani president mm -hmm. and he's got his own resistance to some of the types of aid that the United States is giving let's talk about Afghanistan the US guest, UN guest house was a target there right. what kind of message was that sending Ban Ki-moon today was responding what happened well that's very difficult because the UN should be a intermediary the UN should be a soft it should not be a target of attacks because they're trying to be in peacekeeping at all times and for the UN to be attacked as they had been several years ago in Baghdad it really does put the UN in jeopardy in terms of the kind of aid they can give they're delivering humanitarian aid when there are attacks and they're not supposed to be hit obviously under you international humanitarian law uh, it they're in lockdown right now and that makes it very difficult to uh, distribute any kind of aid they are supposed to be uh, civilian tar they're not supposed to be targets. They're supposed to be considered as civilians, not targets. And so it makes it very difficult for the UN to operate. And um, the UN is already making a statement to the United States back to Pakistan about the use of drones because they have killed over 600 people. The UN is in a very difficult position in both places. But again, it's civilian targets. And that's really part of the problem with Afghanistan. We just have a little bit of time left, but let's touch on the CIA possibly on payroll was the brother of President Hamid Karzai. Right. What's happening there? Ahmed Ali, uh, Wali uh, Karzai, the brother of, Ahmed, of um, the president, um, is uh, was reported to be on the CIA payroll. He has said that he has helped the CIA, but he hasn't been on the payroll. But the real point here is that this was leaked. Now, why was it leaked and who does it help? There's an election coming up on November 7th. It doesn't help Abdul Abdul, although it does hurt uh, Hamid Karzai, the president himself and the brother of this aide, uh, perhaps, of the CIA. It also shows the division between the U.S. military and the White House, because clearly a lot of the sources were military intelligence, and uh, the military is losing a little bit of um, patience with the president's uh, more deliberative approach on Afghanistan. So it's going to be very tough, um, and it really hurts the United States strategy, because CIA is obviously a, a villain to most of the region and therefore uh, showing this involvement. Also, one of the most important parts of that report was that he, he has been implicated with the drug trafficking. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the problem with Afghanistan as a whole is the UN just published a report about how extensive drug trafficking is. So it's really a tough situation. Very complicated. All right, CBS News foreign affairs analyst Pamela Fox. Pam, thanks so much for being with us. Absolutely, Michelle.